What makes him such a good coach? It's all about the stash. Ziggy's performance here on Boise's Blue Turf in front of a national audience on ESPN. Put him on the map. What will it take for me to get you guys to use this as one of your play calls? You could call it the Dave Neely. We could. And guaranteed six points we're, we're, every time you hold this thing up. We're actually looking for new signs, so I'll have to take that and present it to Coach and I. A loaf of bread is exactly four inches wide, so imagine doing front flips and back flips on a 16-foot long loaf of bread. You see a perfect pass here, puts all sorts of pressure on these USC blockers because BYU's offense has all sorts of options. I asked Coach Kelly after the game what they were able to do to stop number 21. We were really good inside. Two former Cougars are back in Utah making waves right behind me on the sand. Next is UConn. President Obama's pick to win it all. What's the mindset heading into this Sweet 16 matchup? Utah State players were looking into the BYU crowd yelling, we're not Houston, we're not Virginia, we are Utah State. Jamal Williams without the ball, tackled by two Texas players. Taysom with the ball, completely untouched. And the star of the show herself gave me a call fresh off that 10th place finish. I asked her about the Olympic experience and particularly about the opening ceremonies. I was crying. I was bawling. After hearing Shaley's weather report, if you're thinking about going golfing, here's exactly what you shouldn't do. <laughs> Chris Cataldo had a bad, bad tournament at a country club in Philadelphia. Even with the bye week, the BYU football team moved up two spots to number 18 in this week's AP poll. The Cougars looking to Christian Stewart to fill the shoes of an injured Heisman Trophy candidate. We're seeing foreign players on the football team, volleyball team, tennis team. Is this trend unique to BYU and Provo? No, not at all. I think even you guys are starting to overlook. Uh, one of my favorite moments from all of last season, Dave Rose calling out the media for ignoring Tyler Haas' incredible scoring barrage in WCC play. Florida State is 22 and 0. Come into one of these games. Hey, wait, time out, time out, time out. Rudy, Rudy, no, Rudy. Rudy. Okay, let's talk about That's how we Wilson. feel about your 22 and 0, whatever, exactly. blah, blah, blah. Winning streaks are made to be broken. <laughs> and I officially welcome you to the San Diego Toreros hit parade. 14 batters, 7 hits, 7 runs, all in the second inning alone. New pitcher, same story. San Diego led this one 9 0. Nick Marshall from 80 yards away. Boom, baby. A miracle game winner for Auburn. Listen to the call. Stands in, steps up. Utah State took a five-point lead into the break, but the Cougars came out strong in the second. Here's a missed layup and a steal by Collinsworth. Collinsworth, Carlino, Carlino, Mika. Boom, shakalaka. It's a one-point game until now. The pretty layup with some serious English by Matty Basketball gives BYU the lead. Carlino had 18 on the night. Haven't even showed you Ty Haas yet. Smooth as always. He had 21. Match point now. Let's play the feud. 100 people surveyed. Top answer on the board. How will BYU in this one? Top answer, a block. Survey was right on that one. BYU improves to 12 and 2 in conference play. Two outs now in the ninth inning. The first pitch to Kristen Yelich. A high fly ball deep to left. And it looks like the no hitter is ruined. But the diving catch. Man, he's got a great glove. An incredible, incredible end to a no-hitter in D.C. And if you're wondering how to celebrate a no-hitter in the nation's capital, well, there you go, <laughs> shaving cream to the face. But it wasn't just the pitcher. The reporter, a face full of it as well. So uh, I would want to be baseball be reporters. Uh, yeah. From Lavelle Edwards Stadium, Dave Neely. From Liberty Park, the AVP Salt Lake Open, I'm Dave Neely. From Oklahoma City, Dave Neely, BYU All Access. Football fans in Provo know all about the Cougars' stellar defense. But the other football team on BYU's campus is also shutting down opponents' offenses. The BYU women's soccer team has won four straight games and has not allowed a single goal during that streak. We are doing better than I thought we would. I didn't think that we would be getting shutouts like we are. Senior goalkeeper Erica Owens turned the shutout streak into a West Coast Conference Player of the Week award. It's a big honor, obviously, to be listed as one of the few players that the West Coast Conference um, recognizes. It's an honor well-deserved for Owens. She has a way of frustrating opponents with her incredible saves. The soccer goal is eight yards wide, and it's eight feet tall. But thanks to Erica Owens, for eight Cougar opponents, that has not been big enough. 
Owens leads the WCC with those eight shutouts. She's also the leader in fewest goals allowed. If I do make a mistake, she'll be there to pick up my mistake and save us. Those saves by Owens may potentially carry BYU on another deep run come playoff time. I don't think another run in the NCAA is potential. I think it is going to happen. Erica, this reporter stands corrected. From BYU's campus, Dave Neely, KookTube. Imagine you're a sixth grader, and when you show up to school one morning, you find out that instead of doing math and science, you'll be playing football with Jamal Williams and Taysom Hill. That's exactly what happened for more than a thousand sixth graders yesterday at the annual BYU Sports Hero Day. BYU. Hill. There it goes. Touchdown. Do it in. Godfrey back set to Gray. That's your winner. Touchdown run. Why is it called Sports Hero Day? Some research that we did a few years ago determined sixth graders have heroes, and that's kind of their hero stage and where, where they really look up to people. And we kind of took that idea and went, oh, well, a lot of kids look up to sports heroes. 1,200 of those sixth graders got to meet some of those heroes, bringing smiles to their faces. How many guys like to dance? And thanks to Jay Swag Daddy, Maybe even a few new dance moves. But it's not just the kids that appreciated the experience. This just helps me more to be a, a good person and, and to stay on the right path. More than 100 BYU athletes from 11 different teams passed, putted, and served with the kids, showing that their reach goes far beyond the playing field. It's a big deal to us as athletes to get to interact with them, and it means a lot to us to see how we can influence them in their lives. Their messages were simple. You don't need to be a, a sports hero. You can be a hero just in everyday life and being a good person and a good character. You just need to be you. You need to become the best you that you possibly can. We're creating memories and experiences for these kids that they normally wouldn't be able to have. One of those memories being in a real-life BYU football huddle. On the BYU campus, Dave Neely, Coogtube.